Good morning and welcome to this August 8th uh, session of From Sunrise to Sunset with Pastor Gene. We're going to do something a little bit different today. I'm going to ask that you watch this video twice. That's right. That means it's going to have twice as many views, I know, and I'm not doing it for numbers. I'm doing it to help because of the way we're having to do Bible study now. Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go and read 1 Corinthians chapter 5, 6, 7, and 8, and 9, and 10. Go read it. And then I want you to come back uh, and deal with the things that I'm going to talk about um, now. Uh, I, so pa pause it because you don't want to hear what I'm getting ready to say about things until you read those those passage those chapters five six seven eight nine and ten so pause it and I'll wait welcome back now having looked at those chapters you already know that there's a lot of controversial things that Sometimes the church chooses to divide about and doesn't work together on and, and will not agree. In chapter 10, and I want to pick this up uh, at verse 23, Paul writes, All things are lawful, but not all things are beneficial. All things are lawful, but not all things build up. Do not seek your own advantage, but that of the other. I love this way of working together with diverse people and different opinions. Paul's well aware that there are folks who think differently than he thinks and who are going to actually disagree with him to a point of, uh, of almost attack. Uh, he gets to a, a point where he writes these words, and to me, they're some of the best words he, that he writes in 1 Corinthians. He said, but if someone says to you, this is ver beginning verse 28 of chapter 10, but if someone says to you, this has been offered in sacrifice, then do not eat it out of consideration for the one who informed you and for the sake of conscience. I mean the other's conscience, not your own. For why should my liberty be subject to the judgment of someone else's conscience? Listen to that again. For why should my liberty be subject to the judgment of someone else's conscience? If I partake with thankfulness, why should I be denounced because of that for which I give thanks? We have such a wonderful freedom in this faith, and we are blessed with diversity. And as we begin to look at the, the remaining chapters next week in 1 Corinthians, we're going to see that Paul is going to offer a much more excellent way, but he's going to come back to that main message of Christ crucified. So today, from sunrise to sunset, may you have liberty and joy and may we build on the firm foundation of Christ our Lord.